Hey YouTube, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on creating floating islands in your multiplayer or single player worlds. And for this you're going to need the world edit mod and you're going to need some other tool to use uh, for some of the other things we'll be doing. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, to start you're going to need to find out about the height you want the bottom of your floating islands. I think for me that'll be about here, about a little bit below the clouds. So create your position one and go to your opposite corner, same height. So you can set your position two and now we have this invisible plane and we can set it to grass or whatever building place, whatever building material you want for your base. So this is going to be the platform in which we're going to be building our floating island on. So I'm actually going to expand this a bit since it's, uh, it's a little bit small. So I'll just use slash slash expand uh, 10 to me and set that to grass. So now I have a bigger area to work with. So to start we're going to pull out our second tool and we're going to slash tree, big tree. This is going to make it so anytime we right click with our wooden shovel or whatever tool, it will create large trees. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute, but this is definitely important if you want to make a very dramatic and pointy floating island. Ah. Kind of, the trees are going to create the outline of your floating island, so however big you want your floating island is however large the amount of trees it's going to fill up, so yeah, it looks about good for the size of a floating island. Wait. There we go. So now I'm going to reselect the entire area here. I'm going to expand my selection by doing slash slash expand. And I'll roughly estimate that it's about 20 high, so I'll go 20 up, it's 20 blocks higher. So now it's not just a flat plane, it's all the way up, if that makes any sense, which I hopefully think it does. Anyways, now I'm going to replace, slash slash replace, log, comma, no space, leaves with sand. And this will, oh god lag, this will make uh, this cool looking kind of bottom of your floating island, but right now it's made out of sand. It's so gross. So disgusting. There we go. And now I'm going to replace all the sand with stone. So yeah, big bottom of our floating island. Now I'm going to slash slash contract one up, and that will pretty much do the opposite of expand, which is remove this area because we had this all the way up selected so when we contract up it deselects this entire plane. So now I'm just going to do slash slash cut and it'll cut out only the stone. I'm going to slash flip up and this is pretty much just going to flip our entire floating island base upside down and I'm going to slash slash paste to bring it back. And now we have the basis of our floating island. And we no longer need this grass plane. So I am going to set the grass to zero. Now, uh, we're going to take out this tool here. And we're going to slash brush smooth 3, 3. Take that back. We're going to do slash brush cylinder S or C Y L and stone three. So now we are going to quickly fill up any holes or things that we do not want with just regular stone so it doesn't look bad. Because we want pretty floating islands, obviously. And looks about good. Maybe connect that later. So now we kind of want to add hills. We don't necessarily want to add hills for every floating island, but 
This way, your floating island is not completely flat. And deserts aren't usually completely flat. So, that looks pretty good for just a little uh, hill. Meh. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so, now we're going to do brush smooth, three, three. So, three by three smoothing. And I'm going to start by smoothing out the edges. Oops. It doesn't look great in all places, so you got to kind of be careful what you do with it. I smooth out the edges of a floating island like this. Be careful with this. You can either make your island beautiful or it can make it so ugly it's a little bit hard to stare at. Destroy any imperfections. You can even go block by block at times. So that should be good for the base of my floating island. Again, you can just fill up anything. It doesn't look that great. And now I'm gonna do the grassy or sandy overlay in my in, uh, my floating island. So set our position one again in the corner. Kind of down low. And the opposite corner, but higher, so you can select your entire top of your floating island. Slash slash overlay sandstone. That will create a layer of sandstone over your entire island. And since desert usually since deserts usually have two layers of sandstone, I'm gonna overlay another layer of sandstone. Now I'm just gonna overlay sand. And that looks pretty good, except sandstone is kind of perfectly flat in some areas, so what I'm going to do is just kind of make it look nicer. Slash slash replace sandstone with half sandstone and half stone. So now it's kind of, it just kind of looks like it's blending with the stone a little more. Now that we have the basic floating island thing done, we can add details like dead shrubs, bushes, and cactus. So, we must now make a beautiful cinematic floating island. Dead shrub, dead shrub, cactus, and this island deserves a cactus too. So there we go. That is my beautiful floating island in my desert. Simple, well for me at least it's simple. And it just kind of looks nice and adds very cool scenery for your very cool server or single player world. So there you go. If you have any questions, if this video was not clear enough for you, just comment. And if this did help you, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. So thank you for watching and goodbye.